Hello fellow builders, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this will be part two of the 1970 Pontiac Firebird. All right, so for this video, we will be painting and building the interior of the model. Now, my plan is to paint the interior a two-tone color. All right, I'm gonna paint the whole thing, or the main color will be blue. As you can see right here, we got some Tamiya blue. All right, and I'm going to two-tone it with uh, some Tamiya white. All right, so everything will be blue and then paint the middle of the seats in white, okay? Now, for the other colors I will be using, I'm going to prime it with some Mission Models gray primer. This will be my first time trying this out. So we'll see how that goes. Um, then all the other colors with some simple uh, Tamiya semi-gloss and some Tamiya flat black okay we got some steel for the some some tester steel for the uh, steering wheel and also I'm going to try and give it that uh, realistic carpet look um, I took my wife's fingernail polish acrylic powder I've seen a couple of people use this stuff so I'm going to try to use it and see how it turns out. I actually don't even know if she knows I took it yet, but we'll find out pretty soon. So I'm going to try to give it that realistic carpet look and use this powder. OK, we also have decals that we're going to put on uh, the dashboard and we'll see how that turns out. So let's go ahead and get started.
All right, now that we have the interior painted white, we are going to go ahead and mask off the parts that are going to stay white and go ahead and paint this whole thing blue. So we are done laying the paint down on all the interior parts. As you can see, I tried the whole two-tone paint scheme for the interior. And although it's not perfect, I mean, it's not, it's not bad in my opinion. Now, like I stated in one of my earlier videos, I'm not too worried about perfection. I'm more, more so worried about technique, making sure that I have the gist of what I'm actually trying to do. So um, this is like, literally my fourth fourth build in like 25 years all right so like i said not bad in my opinion um like i said not perfect but not bad so right now we're going to go ahead and uh lay a clear coat down because there's a couple of decals that we got to put have to put on these parts all right and i don't want to mess up the paint so we're going to go ahead and lay a clear coat down and get these decals on
is it for this part of the 1970 Pontiac Firebird build. Uh, just a couple of quick takes. Uh, one, uh, any build in the future that requires a full dash decal such as this one, I probably would not use. Um, I probably feel more comfortable, you know, painting in the details and still using the speedo and tachometer uh, decals. But full dash decal like that, I just think it's a little bit too messy and too much. So I probably would never use that again. Two, uh, the seatbelt decals are cool, but going forward, I'll probably just order or use actual seatbelt kits instead of seatbelt decals. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure. I, I know it looks a lot better, so I'll probably use those. Um, also, uh, the acrylic powder that I stole from my wife is cool. I thought it would actually be a little bit darker, but of course, going forward, I'll probably use the actual carpet texture or whatever the stuff you guys out there be using. Um, I'll probably uh, look into that and start using that. All right, so I'm, I'm not going to actually glue this in until I actually do the body and make sure that fits up in there perfectly. So I'm not going to glue that in yet. All right. Um, so uh, of course, any constructive criticism uh, is always welcome. Any tips or tricks, please feel free to leave uh, comments down below. Uh, any links to any products that you guys use that you think might help out, feel free, feel free to drop those also, okay? Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys and girls for tuning in. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And hit that bell icon and stay tuned for part three, which will be the body of this build. All right, so until next time, happy building.